The saying, you have to lose your mind to find yourself, embodies the profound journey of self-discovery and transformation. It suggests that true liberation and understanding of oneself can only be attained by transcending the confines of the conditioned mind and ego. This essay delves into the depths of this statement, exploring the nature of the mind, the concept of self, the obstacles to self-realization, and practical strategies for letting go of the mind's limitations to uncover our authentic selves. The mind is a powerful instrument that generates thoughts, beliefs, and perceptions. It is shaped by our upbringing, cultural conditioning, and personal experiences. However, the mind is not who we truly are. It is a construct that filters and interprets our experiences. The ego mind, driven by fear and self-preservation, creates a sense of separateness and identity. It seeks validation, control, and security, often leading to suffering and limitation. Identifying solely with the ego mind obscures our true essence and inhibits self-realization. Society often reinforces the idea of a fixed and separate self, leading us to believe that we are defined by our roles, achievements, and external attributes. However, this notion is an illusion that hinders us from experiencing our interconnectedness and true nature. Through self-inquiry and introspection, we come to realize that the self is not a static entity, but a dynamic and ever-changing process. Our thoughts, emotions, and physical experiences continuously shift, revealing the impermanence of the self. Attachment to thoughts, beliefs, and identities keeps us bound to limited perceptions and inhibits our ability to see beyond the constructs of the mind. Identifying with these attachments reinforces the illusion of the self, preventing us from experiencing our true nature. Fear and resistance arise from the ego mind's desire for control and security. They create barriers that prevent us from exploring the unknown and embracing the uncertainties of self-discovery. Overcoming fear and resistance is essential in liberating ourselves from the constraints of the mind. Societal and cultural conditioning shape our beliefs, values, and perceptions. These influences can limit our understanding of ourselves, causing us to conform to societal norms and expectations. Recognizing and questioning these conditioning patterns is crucial for self-realization. Self-inquiry involves questioning our beliefs, thoughts, and identities to uncover the underlying truth of who we are. Through introspection, we observe the mind's patterns and conditioned responses, allowing us to transcend their limitations. Meditation and mindfulness practices cultivate a state of presence and awareness. By observing the mind's activities without judgment, we develop a deeper understanding of its nature and cultivate the capacity to disidentify from its limiting patterns. Inner silence is the state beyond the constant mental chatter. By intentionally cultivating moments of stillness and quietude, we create space for deeper insights and connect with our inner wisdom. Releasing attachments to thoughts, beliefs, and identities liberates us from the constraints of the mind. By recognizing that these attachments are impermanent and do not define our true essence, we create space for self-discovery and growth. Surrendering to the flow of life and trusting in the inherent wisdom of the universe enables us to transcend the limitations of the mind. By relinquishing the need for control and embracing the unknown, we open ourselves to transformative experiences and self-realization. Embracing our authentic selves requires self-acceptance and self-compassion. It involves recognizing and honoring all aspects of ourselves, including our strengths, weaknesses, emotions, and past experiences. Self-acceptance involves acknowledging that we are imperfect beings with unique qualities and that these imperfections do not diminish our worth. 
By cultivating self-compassion, we offer ourselves kindness, understanding, and forgiveness. This inner kindness allows us to heal wounds, release self-judgment, and create a nurturing space within ourselves to grow and evolve. By becoming aware of our thoughts, emotions, and self-talk, we can observe any self-critical patterns or beliefs that hinder self-acceptance. Mindfulness practices can help us develop this awareness and foster a non-judgmental attitude towards ourselves. The inner critic often reinforces self-doubt and negativity. To cultivate self-acceptance, we can challenge these critical voices by questioning their validity and replacing them with supportive and empowering thoughts. Affirmations, positive self-talk, and self-compassionate statements can aid in shifting the narrative towards self-acceptance. Gratitude practice allows us to focus on the positive aspects of ourselves and our lives. By acknowledging and appreciating our strengths, achievements, and blessings, we foster a sense of self-worth and acceptance. Cultivating a state of presence and awareness allows us to embody our authentic selves. Presence involves fully engaging in the present moment, free from the distractions of past regrets or future worries. It is a state of heightened awareness, where our attention is directed to the here and now. Regular mindfulness meditation helps train our minds to focus on the present moment. By observing our thoughts, sensations, and emotions without judgment, we develop a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Through meditation, we learn to let go of distractions and immerse ourselves fully in the present moment. Engaging our senses is a powerful way to cultivate presence. By consciously paying attention to the sights, sounds, smells, tastes, and physical sensations in our environment, we anchor ourselves in the present moment and deepen our connection with the present experience. Flow activities are those that fully absorb our attention and bring a sense of joy and fulfillment. Engaging in activities such as art, music, sports, or any creative pursuit allows us to enter a state of flow where we lose track of time and immerse ourselves completely in the present moment. Living from the heart involves aligning our actions, decisions, and relationships with our true essence. It means following our intuition, inner guidance, and values, rather than being solely driven by the mind or external expectations. When we live from the heart, we make choices that are authentic, meaningful, and in alignment with our deepest desires and values. Understanding our values, passions, and desires is essential for living from the heart. By examining our beliefs and motivations, we can discern what truly resonates with our authentic selves. Our intuition is our inner compass, guiding us towards what feels right and true for us. By practicing stillness, deep listening, and self-reflection, we can access our intuitive wisdom and make decisions from a place of inner knowing. Identifying our passions and purpose is key to living from the heart. When we engage in activities and pursuits that align with our passions, we tap into our creative potential and experience a sense of fulfillment. Connecting our passions to a greater purpose or service can further deepen our sense of meaning and authenticity. Building authentic connections and surrounding ourselves with supportive and like-minded individuals nourishes our authentic selves. Seek relationships that honor and respect your true essence, where you can be vulnerable and accepted for who you are. Embracing the impermanence of life is essential for embodying our authentic selves. It involves recognizing that everything in life, including our thoughts, emotions, relationships, and circumstances, is in a constant state of change. By accepting impermanence, we let go of attachment, rigidity, and resistance, allowing for growth, transformation, and the unfolding of our true potential. Attachments to outcomes, identities, and material possessions 
often lead to suffering and limit our ability to embrace change. By practicing non-attachment, we free ourselves from clinging to fixed ideas or external validations, opening up space for self-discovery and growth. Embracing impermanence requires developing resilience and adaptability. Resilience allows us to navigate life's challenges and setbacks with grace and strength. By viewing obstacles as opportunities for growth, we can embrace change and transform difficulties into valuable lessons. Recognizing the transient nature of life encourages us to cherish and fully experience each moment. Gratitude for the present moment brings a sense of appreciation, joy, and wonder, reminding us of the beauty and preciousness of life. Conclusion The saying, you have to lose your mind to find yourself, encapsulates the profound journey of self-discovery and liberation. By recognizing the limitations of the mind, embracing the impermanence of the self, and letting go of attachments, fear, and conditioning, we open ourselves to a deeper understanding of our true nature. Through self-inquiry, meditation, mindfulness, and the cultivation of presence, we transcend the confines of the ego mind and connect with our authentic selves. Embodying our true essence involves self-acceptance, compassion, and living from the heart. As we navigate this journey, we uncover the beauty, wisdom, and interconnectedness that reside within us, leading to a more fulfilling and authentic way of being in the world.